In this episode of an in-depth look, I'm going to cover some ways you can transfer files around your local area network with total simplicity and ease. I'm going to talk about how you can eliminate the ability to require logins, and if you're just on a small business network, or maybe you have a couple computers on your home network, and you don't want to hassle with file sharing services, I've got the solutions for you in this episode of an in-depth look. So this started out as a quest for me to find an easy way to transfer files between my computer, the wife's computer, my laptop, my desktop, and my Tripoli. Because I have a few computers and I'm sending files around. Maybe I'm working on something and then I want to go sit in front of the couch, in front of the TV on the couch. So I want to send the file quickly to my laptop. Initially, I was going to use a Samba server, and I do have a Drobo in the house, and I could use that, but. That still requires that I copy the file up to the Drobo, then go to the machine I want to get the file at, go to the Drobo, log in, copy the file down, open the file, save the changes back up. It's kind of a hassle. I might be able to make things a little easier through some fancy R script sync scripts and things of that nature, but that's not what I wanted to do. So I wanted to find an easy way to shoot files back and forth, and since I'm on my own private network at home, um, and I'm not really that worried about security here because I've taken the steps to make my network secure. I wanted to have something that was dead simple to use and security was important, but uh, having super secure encrypted logins and all those things was not the primary goal. When I was reviewing OpenSUSE 11.1, I found a program that they include with OpenSUSE 11.1 called Giver. And Giver is a program that is about as simple as it gets. It's You have a two clients that run on, on the computers you want to transfer files between and using the uh, automatic DNS discovery stuff, uh, Avahi or whatever it's called, it will go out and locate the systems on the same LAN, they show up almost as like in an instant messenger list and you can drag files onto them, the file will get sent to the other computer and it will prompt for them to download it right to their computer. Um, hopefully I'm playing a video of that while I talk about this right now. It works pretty good. The, the, uh, the Giver program uses the GNOME notification system to do a little pop-up to say, hey, would you like to accept this file? And then it also has a little pop-up that indicates, hey, your file is received. You did a really good job. Good job sending your file. You're a pro. Then you can, you can go back and forth and you can send files both ways. There's no logins, anything like that. Okay, great. So that answered the Linux question. Now the next problem. The wife's on Mac OS X per her job requirement. So how do I send files to the wife? There's not a way currently to use Giver between a Mac and a Linux or Linux and Windows. It's Linux only. Giver is Linux only um, at this time. The project has slowed a bit too. It was initially part of Novell's Hack Week back in 2007 when it was created in a week, and I haven't seen much updates since then. Now, it still works, of course. In fact, it's shipping with OpenSUSE 11.1, so I'm hoping we might see some, I guess, maybe progress or movement there in that project now because it is shipped in a big distro like that. Uh, so it, it is a little stagnant, and there are people in the forums requesting that you can use it on uh, Mac and Linux and Mac and Windows and Windows and Linux and etc etc. So right now Giver is Linux to Linux only. So when I had to look into a Mac OS X option I did come across something called Drop Send and I think that's what it's called. Let me check. Aha! Good thing I checked. It's actually called Drop Copy and it works almost identically to Giver in the basic sense that it runs a little clients on each computer in your, on your network and it's free unless you want to use it in a professional large network and they ask that you donate $25. And uh, Giver is also free, it's GPL code. It, it is based on mono but it's all open source. Um, so anyways, Drop Copy runs, it has a, like a little portal. It's actually got a little more, uh, I guess maybe frills than, than Giver does, but it has a little portal and you dra you hover over the portal with your file and it spreads out the uh, the computers on the network that it is auto-discovered and you can drag it on top of one of those computers and it sends it and it makes a little portal transmit sound and then, and then they get the file on uh, the receiving Mac. It uses Growl if you have a Mac so you get a little notify, just like Giver uses the uh, lib notify on GNOME so you get the little notification there. Now. Windows. I don't really have a great solution for LAN to LAN copies. What I mean by that is I have a computer on LAN on the same LAN as another computer and I want to send files directly between the two. Okay. Now, Dropbox is a great multi-platform Mac, Windows, Linux, uh, syncs files between all of them. The downside is that the free version has a two gigabyte limit and it has to go through their service out over the internet. 
whereas giver and uh, drop copy send directly between machines. Now, that said, you'd think that would equal better performance, but I seem to actually have performance issues with Giver. Giver seemed to kind of run and max out around four megabytes a second. So when I sent a really large one gigabyte file, it took quite a long time to copy. It was much longer than if I copied it from a network share. So there could be some issues there. I did not experience that with Drop Copy. And then with Dropbox, it wouldn't even really have been an option because, well, Dropbox has a two gig limit and my file was 1.2 gigabytes, so I'd already eaten away more than half my limit. Not to mention, with Dropbox, it has to upload it to the Dropbox service, and then the client machine has to download it from the Dropbox service. So you're kind of basically spending a bunch of internet traffic when you don't really need to for this basic fundamental functionality. Now you could also just use regular file sharing or something like secure copy and all those kinds of things, but if you want dead simple that maybe your average user could use, Giver and Drop Copy are definitely it. If you want file synchronization between all of your computers and, and you want the best that's out there, Microsoft has a live sync thing, but pff, trust me, Drop Dropbox for synchronization between all of your machines is killer. So Giver for Linux to Linux file transfers, super easy. Drop copy from Mac to Mac file copies, super easy. And Dropbox to synchronize files between all computers, Linux, Mac, Windows, and a web UI, it doesn't matter. The other nice thing though about Dropbox I should mention is you can do shared libraries. So Brian and I, for example, have a shared Jupyter Broadcasting library where we share show files back and forth and things like logos or or other theme files and stuff like that. So Dropbox is definitely very nice, but it doesn't do the direct machine to machine copy, which is what I was looking for in this case. Um, so Giver, Drop Copy, and Dropbox. All kind of sound the same, except for Giver, but they're very cool and each do their own thing. All right, so that's kind of my quick look at that. If you'd like to get a hold of me, Chris at jupiterbroadcasting.com, that's the email address, or hit me up on Twitter, twitter.com slash chrislas. If you've liked this video, please rate it and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash jupiterbroadcasting. If you didn't like this video, leave me a comment and I'll try to make it better in the next video. No promises, but I'll do my best. All right, oh, and be sure to check out jupiterbroadcasting.com and, and uh, take a listen to the Cast of Blasta episode that's coming out this week. We're doing a best of in geek. Um, what I mean by that is the best video games of 2008, the best movies of 2008, the best sci-fi TV shows. It's all sci-fi and geek focused, and it's all in Cast of Blasta. We're doing a best of 2008 for this week's episode, and you can find that at jupiterbroadcasting.com. It is an audio-only show, but it's great for the commute. Well, that wraps up this episode of an in-depth look. I hope you've enjoyed it, and please subscribe to our channel.